Now, IBM, we're doing this already. We do it for food and trade documents. But this is not enough. The trust has to reach into the physical world. We need anchors to link the cryptographic entries in these provenance databases and the business processes that we defined there with the physical objects in the real world. And we actually believe we need what we call crypto anchors. We're saying in the next five years, crypto anchors will half the number of counterfeit goods that are linked to health and safety issues. A crypto anchor embedded in the paper of a malaria test. The code that you see here is made of ink dots deposited on, a, on micro pillars. When serum is attached to the paper, the test is applied, is performed, but at the same time, a first code is washed away and a second, initially hidden code is visible. Scanning these codes with a smartphone, a doctor can now verify that this malaria test is actually original and it has not been used before. Sometimes we actually don't need these crypto anchors to be embedded in a product. Sometimes we don't have to really add them. Sometimes they exist already. Think about a rice corn, a sheet of paper, or this gold bar. The DNA in the rice corn, the weaving in the paper, or the molding of this gold bar is highly unique and cannot be cloned. With a bit of AI, it is actually possible to recognize this uniqueness.